Okay, fuck it. I think that's a good end to like that song. Alright. You've done this for like six years. It's not that hard. Just it's not that hard. Not that hard. Not that you got this. I don't know why I'm so nervous. This is the first time in like seven years or six years or however long it's been. This is the first time I took like months off. Holy fuck. <laughs> Woo okay. I can't believe so many of you guys are here. Holy guacamole. Holy shit, thank you so much. Holy fuck. I mean, oh, okay. Here it goes. I decided to look a little bit cute today. Hi guys! Welcome back. Welcome back. I changed up my room a little bit too. Holy guacamole. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. We're good. We're good, pigs. We're good. We're good. Woo, we're good. <sighs> my palms are actually sweaty right now. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm live. I can't believe you guys are here. Oh, my Atlanta. I can't, I can't believe you guys are here. So many of you guys are here. Oh my gosh. Goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> Let me tell you the anxiety I was feeling before I press start tune today. Holy moly cannoli. Holy guac of freaking moly. Holy. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. Thank you, everyone. Wow. I definitely do not feel like I deserve all the support. Like, at least like let me stream like a few more times before you like sub and stuff so I don't feel so bad <laughs> because I feel like I just peaced out for like months and then you guys are already supporting me and I know now I feel a little bit bad. Oh my god, thank you so much. Oh <laughs> but um I got a strawberry banana smoothie from McDonald's. So good. Hi everyone! Oh my god, it's been so long. I haven't streamed for like, I don't even know how long. I think the last time I streamed was on my birthday, which was almost three months ago now. And before then, I took like a couple months off. So, do you guys still remember me? Do you guys still remember me? Like, how do you guys still remember me? How are you guys still here? You're my top streamer this year on my Twitch Rewind? I wasn't, I was on Twitch Rewind? Why? <laughs> Why did they put me on Twitch Re Rewind? I streamed like two times this year. <laughs> Um, you're trolling, right? There's no there's no way they put me on. There's no fucking way. Thanks so much for subbing. Thank you so much, you guys. Holy crap. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know how I was on anyone's rewind. <laughs> yeah? Who am I? Dude, who knows? Who am I? Who am I even? I don't even know. I feel like in the past five months I, I changed so I I feel like I'm a different person now I feel like I really used these past five months to take a lot of time to like grow myself as a human being so I kind of feel like a different person like I'm not gonna lie and I also feel like I look like a different person because I literally got surgery right so I by the way I really like how I look and I'm really happy with how the results of the surgery are. So a lot of people told me that they don't really notice a difference, but I guess I do. I notice a difference and I'm finally happy. I'm, I'm happy. I'm very happy. I'm happy. I am white people happy. <laughs> do you guys still use that emote? White people happy? Is that like so five months ago or like, is that still a thing? Is white people happy so thing? Oh, you know, copium is a thing. Copium is like what the what the what what the new hip streamers say. 
copium and I don't know. That's all I know. <laughs> I just know copium. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you. What is this emote? Bat chest? What the fuck? <laughs> okay, somebody's gonna have to tell me like the background of bat chest. Like what, what do you, in what situation would you use bat chest? You know? What does it mean? Kiliwa, thank you for the gifted subs. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Please do not gift me today. Do not sub, do not cheer, do not donate today. I haven't I haven't streamed in so long. I do not want your money. Do not give me your money. <laughs> do not give it to me. Wait till I stream a few more times at least. <laughs> It means extreme sarcasm. It means- oh! Hmm. Interesting. I saw Spider-Man yesterday, by the way. It was good. I cried like- well, I didn't cry. I teared up like five times. It was really good. It was really good if you guys watch Spider-Man. Spooderman. Okay, no spoilers, don't worry. But Spider-Man dies, but no spoiler. <laughs> Just kidding, he doesn't die, or does he? Wait, the fact that he doesn't die could also be a spoiler. So maybe he does die. Maybe I was just, Spider-Man dies, or maybe he doesn't. Spider-Man dies or doesn't die, but no spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> First stream back and already cancelled. Nice. Nice! I'm back, baby. I'm back, bitches! All you bitches in chat don't even know what's coming for you. I'm back. Kimmy's back on Twitch.tv. <laughs> Kimmy's changed. I have changed. I am not... I am... I am not... I am, I know, I know when I left, you guys, you guys, when you saw me, you saw such a sweet, such a nice, such a perfect angel of a girl, pure innocence, a role model, an inspiration. <laughs> I know that's how you guys all viewed me, but she's fucking gone now, okay? I've entered a new arc. <laughs> yeah, I am a bad bitch that I'm cringing so fuck. <laughs> I'm cringing so hard. <laughs> I'm a bad bitch, bitch. My roommate just texted me. <laughs> She's like, lol. So, I'm not sure how my stream schedule is gonna be. I mean, I was never really on schedule before either, but I'm gonna take things slow. I'm gonna come back and take things a little bit slowly. Um, probably have talking streams because I feel like I haven't I feel like I don't know you guys anymore you guys like you guys like grew up in the past five months and now you're all different people I feel like I have to get to know you guys again you know so <laughs> I feel like you guys have to get to know me <laughs> like I'm different now so 
I feel like for the next like bit at least, I just want to like chill and have like some chilled talking sessions, some chilled talking streams, you know, just like hang out, talk about life and stuff. What do you guys think? Thoughts? Thoughts? Chips redeemed a treat for PIX. Okay, fix. Okay, I have some tweets right here. Okay, Pixie. <gasps> there you go. <laughs> mm. John Bay, thanks for 15 months in a row. Welcome back to the community. Thank you. Oh yeah, that's right. I am getting a cat in six days. We're having a child chat. We're having a freaking child. So I'm adopting a kitty in six days. So that is one update. If you look at my new profile picture, it's the kitten I'm getting. Her name is Snowball. I wasn't gonna name her Snowball actually. I was gonna name her like, I don't know, Yuki or like, I don't know, I thought Snowball was just so basic. And like, you guys know me, I'm not basic, you know? So I wasn't gonna name her like a basic name. So, but then I saw a picture of her and what, what do you mean, Cap? What do you mean, Copium? I'm not basic. <laughs> you think, you think I'm basic? Anyway, nothing wrong with being basic, by the way. But yeah, um, I saw a picture of her and my breeder sent me like a video of her and I'm like, it's a fucking snowball. It's, I'm like, it's a snowball. So I had to name her snowball. I had to, I feel like, okay, let me, I'll just, for people who don't follow me on social media or anything, here she is. Oh my God. It's snowball. It's her! This is her! So cute! <laughs> so cute! She's actually so cute! Like, actually, she's so cute! She is actually so cute! Like, oh god. She's actually so cute. So she's coming in six days. Um, on the 23rd? Yeah, she's coming on the 23rd. So I'm definitely gonna be streaming literally right when I bring her home. I'm gonna turn on the camera like I did for Hobbs and Picks and I'm gonna stream and I'm gonna show you guys her. So we'll have snowball kitten clips forever. We'll have little baby snowball kitten clips forever. Do you have everything ready for her? Holy moly, okay. <laughs> I got sick like two weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, and I still have like irritation in my throat. So I'm not sick anymore, but sometimes when I overuse my vocals or when I overuse my throat, I'll start coughing. So it's not COVID, I promise you, I don't have COVID. I just had like laryngitis or something, or I just had a common cold. Anyway, so if I like cough and stuff, it's not cause I'm sick, not cause I have COVID, but it's, it's because like I'm still just like, it's just like from my cold weeks ago. <laughs> oh, I kind of miss streaming. I, like, it's just so stupid. I can't do this shit in real life, man. Like I cough on the mic and then you guys spam smog W. Like, like I don't have an outlet for doing shit like that in real life. Well, I kind of missed this. <laughs> Thanks for the three dollars. Plushies. I kept the follow button just in case. Aww. Hope the break was just what you needed. Thank you. Um, yeah, so I learned a lot in the past five months of literally just being with myself. Like I learned that 
pushing myself for like five years straight without like without like any like work life personal balance or anything will just make me like mental boom and want to just burn everything so what i learned in the past five months is to not do that i learned i learned how to balance my life a little bit better and i learned how to manage my time a little bit better and i also learned how to process my emotions better so i don't do that again so i don't disappear for like months on end anymore <laughs> or even weeks I'm feeling genuinely a lot better. Like, I don't know. I'm feeling so much better. So, your voice is so ASMR. Oh, thank you. Thank you. But yeah, do you guys have any questions for me? I can like talk about things that I've been up to or plans or. We can just talk about random things, any anything that you guys were like wondering and wanted to talk about. Oh yeah, I think somebody asked me if I have everything ready for my cat. Um, pretty much, yes. <laughs> I have like everything. I bought three cat towers. I bought litter, litter box. I bought like 20 different vitamins and like milk formula and food and bowls and toys and literally like if you look over here you'll see like this cat tunnel cat carrier cat tree number one i went crazy i went i went absolutely crazy with cat stuff asmr when <gasps> i am planning on doing asmr again regularly once i move to my new place in less than three months so i might try to make a video here it's just like kind of annoying making a video here because it's like loud and stuff but i i think i'll try i'll try um i'll try to like i don't know maybe stay up one day and make film an asmr when no one's awake um oh that's another thing i am moving in less than three months i found my new apartment i'm gonna live with julia again and is so nice <laughs> i'm so happy to have found it i'm living in a high rise and after seeing like jamie jody and them living in high rises i'm like bro like that view is so nice so i decided to also find a high rise for myself and then we found like literally the most perfect high rise like it checked almost it this this new apartment like me like julia and i had a whole list of like requirements that me and her both wanted in an apartment and the place that we found hit every single requirement minus one which is that it was like a bit more than our price range it was like kind of expensive but we're signing like a really long lease we're signing like a year and a half so we're getting a discount and also we figured might as well like invest in like a place that we really like if we're going to sign such a long lease right so really excited um it's really quiet that's actually that was actually my priority because i wanted to do asmr again so i made sure to get like a really quiet place this time so So yay! How much is it? <coughs> you know! <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, you know. You know, like... You know! Should I say it? You know, the reason why I'm not going to say how much it was was just because, you know, I don't want people looking up the place on Google and finding where I live. So, you know what? That's the reason why. Um, I will be paying over 2k a month, though. But, I mean, in LA, that's kind of expected. Like, I feel like I've been paying... I feel like me and all my friends have been paying over 2k since we moved here. Oh my gosh.
That is, thanks for 24 months. Yeah. But renting is not an investment. You get nothing back. It's all gone in the toilet every month. It depends how you see it, right? Like, yes, renting isn't an investment to like the majority of people. But for me, I don't know where I want my house, first of all. I don't know. I don't want to buy a house. I don't have the time and energy and money required to buy a house right now. So that's one reason why I don't want a house. And secondly, I just really like the aesthetic of apartments. I just think quality of life is just really nice living in an apartment. Um, if you find a good apartment, then you the apartment like takes care of your maintenance, takes care of, you know, I don't know, security, stuff like that, trash. So quality of life is higher, which means that I can focus more on other things in my life, which in turn will like, you know, is an investment in myself. So I guess it's like, I, maybe it's just my copium. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm just justifying it. But I personally like living in apartments right now because I just like being taken care of and I don't have the time, energy, or anything to like take care of a house right now. Oh my gosh, that's like so much work. Oh my lord, like just take care of me, you know? So yeah, I just don't have the time, energy, or money, or like anything to take care of a house. The people, yeah, I just, I just, I just, like when something in my, in my apartment breaks down, I just love having maintenance. But everyone's different. So. So yeah, you also don't want to get tied down to a place. Yeah, I moved so many times. I just can't invest in a place right now. Yeah. Any other questions? <coughs> Have you... <coughs> So have you been playing any games even though you weren't streaming them? Yes, I've been playing TFT. Dude, <laughs> I've been playing TFT a lot over the past months and I hit diamond. I solo queued to fucking diamond in TFT like a few days ago. I think I tweeted it. Like me, casual, casual Kimmy, solo to diamond. <laughs> I was so proud. Oh my god, I was so proud of myself. Like, now, if I stream TFT, I can put diamond in my title. <laughs> I'm totally gonna do that if I ever stream TFT. <laughs> diamond TFT solo ranked. <laughs> okay. You actually can't drop out a diamond. Thankfully, because I definitely would have. Adorbs, thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Do you see Squid Game? Yes. Oh my gosh, I've been gone for a long time. That seems like old news. Kimmy, why don't you live with offline TV and friends? A few reasons. The first reason is probably the timing is just never good like our lease timing is just never good and never really lines up second is i'd say pets are also a big thing because i have pets so pet compatibility compatibility is a really big thing um that's another thing actually that people don't really think about <laughs> everyone in my friend group has pets so, for example, me and Arya could have lived together at one point because our leases were up at the same time, but she just had like three pets and I had a pet and I was already going to live with Julia who had a pet. So, it's like because of that we couldn't live together, right? Um, 
Stuff like that. Ellum! Hello, Ellum. Hello, Ellum. Kimmy, how is Ellum IRL? Ellum is a Chad IRL. He's great. Ellum's great. I he okay, so Ellum's really tall, right? I didn't imagine Ellum to be so tall. He's like 6'5 or something. Like, I I don't know why. I just never pictured him to be that tall. So when I saw him, I all I could do was talk about how tall he was. And I felt so bad after. I saw him like I saw him, I think, like, for, like, two... Oh, wait, no, no, one. I saw him only one day. It was only one day we hung out. But all I could talk about whenever I saw him, I'm like, wow, you're so tall. Oh, my God, you're high. And I'm like, dude, I didn't even ask him how he is. Like, come on, Kim. You played Among Us with him for hundreds of hours, and all you can do is talk about how tall he is. And I felt so bad. I, like, messaged him the next day, and I'm like, I'm so sorry for being fucking awkward. <laughs> like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> so, yeah. Sorry, Ellum. <laughs> you, you are really tall. You know, I'm just a little bit awkward, IRL. How tall is Kimmy? I am 5'4". A whole, a whole 5'4". Welcome back, Sam. But yeah, it, it was great. Ellum is great. The whole meetup at Vegas was great. <laughs> Hafu arranged like a little Friendsgiving for everyone. So we all met up in Vegas and we all had a potluck and then we talked and then we went to Cosmopolitan. Wait, was it Cosmopolitan? I think we went to the Cosmo and then we hung out. I ended up gambling a little bit. I put $100 on black and I lost it. So then I put $200 on black and then I lost it. So I lost $100, just like that, two seconds. <sighs> so sad. It usually works out though, like that chain of thought, right? It usually works out. Like if you if you put $100 in and you lose it, then you have to double down, like to put $200 in. And if you lose that, then you have to like triple down and you have to put $400 in, you know? And you keep on double downing until you eventually win one, right? But I like pussied out <laughs> and I'm like, nah, it's gonna go on like a freaking like 15 black streak. <laughs> like um, I pussied out. I'm like, no, 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 <laughs> not today. <laughs> Kimmy, where's your cat? She is still growing. She's still too young. She's at the breeder right now and I'm getting my kitten in six days on the 23rd. Getting my kitty. We're getting our little cat. Are you taller than Ray? You know, I think we're all very similar height. Me, Ray, oh. Pokey. I think Celine. Oh gosh, I want to say Wendy. I want to say they're a bit shorter. I want to say Jamie, Janet, Leslie are a bit taller. But as for the 5 4 girls, it's probably like me, Rachel, Iman. Who else is my height? Lily, Lily, Yvonne's a bit shorter, but I think, yeah, Lily, Jody, yeah, Jody, I think she's like 5'4. Yeah, we're like the mid, we're like the 5'4s. The Did you get to rehome all your plants? Oh my god, you saw my Instagram stories, didn't you? Okay, so. I wasn't streaming during my plant phase very much, but TLDR, I had a plant phase um, a few months ago, and I ended up buying like dozens of plants. Like literally, like I have, I had like 20 plus plants in my house at one point because I was like learning about existentialism for like the first time really. Like it was really like 
like like what it means to be alive you know like <laughs> all that stuff was like I, w I was processing it all for my first time and then I got really obsessed with nature because of that like just like nature and learning about like life and growth and evolution and stuff like that so that sparked my plant phase and yeah I went on a whole journey and then so I got a whole bunch of plants but then I found out that a lot of those plants were poison poisonous to animals but Pix literally went, doesn't give a shit about the plants, so he would never eat them. So I never really cared. But I'm getting a cat, and cats are very curious. What kind of plants were they? Like pythos plants, or pothos? Pythos? Pothos? Like those are poisonous, you know? So I ended up having to give away like almost every single one of my plants. So, my friend actually came over yesterday, Ollie. Ollie came over yesterday and he picked up two of the plants. And then it's really cute because my friend from high school, um, she was my best, best, best friend from high school. And we haven't connected in a long, long time. And she messaged me after she saw my Instagram story and she's like, oh my God, can I like adopt that plant? And, and now we're gonna hang out on Sunday for the first time in years. Like me, my high, my best friend from high school. So I'm like so excited. So yeah, she wanted one of my plants. But yeah, um, so that's the reason why I'm getting rid of all my plants now. I will show you my favorite plant, actually. She's a Hoya. She has these cute, funky little stems that grow out of her. And they are supposed to like blossom into like really cute little flowers, but I don't know when that's supposed to happen. And she is cat safe. So my cat can eat this plant and it'll be fine. fine. So I'm keeping her. She's my favorite. Tell us more about existentialism. Yeah, what do you want to know? Ask me a question. Existentialism, what it means to be alive. Hell if I know. <laughs> I think <laughs> I concluded that I'm never gonna really know. So just, fuck it. <laughs> Make money, fuck bitches. We're all, we're all gonna die anyway, you know? Okay, you guys are like saying true, but I'm not serious. <laughs> if you want my serious answer, I'd probably say something like, I was always the type of person to chase goals and I guess a lot of us are kind of similar to that, right? I was always the type of person to like chase something. I was like, once I get, once I look like this, I'll be happy. Or once I have this much money, I'll be happy. Once I like do, once I achieve this, then I can do good in the world. You know, like if I'm on my deathbed, I'm going to regret not achieving my highest potential like that's always what i thought like i was so obsessed with achieving my highest potential like so fucking obsessed with that and then i realized that at the end of the day what would make me happy is knowing that i tried my best to just do good in the world at like any opportunity you know like if I were to like be on my deathbed right now, I wouldn't be upset for not reaching my fullest potential. I would just be upset for not being a better person in general. So, so I guess just reframing my mentality from being super like, 
like goal driven to being more journey driven. Does that make sense? I don't know. I want Yeah. That's like the hardest part. Being more journey driven is actually really hard. Like the destination doesn't like it does like okay, and I'm just speaking from my own perspective in my time of life. Everyone is so different and everyone needs different things in their lives. Right? So it's like another person might actually need to be more goal driven, you know? But for me, I personally need to focus more on being more journey driven, I guess, because of who I am as a person. But everyone's like totally different, you know? And I don't think there's one right answer. So I'm just, I'm just saying based off of like what I learned about myself at least. Catherine, is there anything you did specifically to make that shift? It's been something I've been thinking of too. Oh gosh. Yeah, I guess I just um, became a lot more... <sighs> what did I do specifically? I just really tried to get to know myself more. Like... Hmm... Meditating is really good. Therapy is good, obviously. And, uh... I don't know, I feel like I was also very fortunate. Like, not everyone can just forehead and, like, do what they want to do, right? I guess I was just very fortunate to be in a position where I could just take time to focus on myself and my feelings and what I want, right? So I don't really have like one answer to that. Um, but yeah, I'd say being a little bit more selfish is like never a bad thing. Well, actually, unless you're just inherently selfish. You know what? <laughs> hmm. For me, it helped me to be a bit more selfish with my happiness, at least. Kimmy, can you share about half of oh, my DNA test? Yeah, dude, it was so stupid. I like spent $200 for a DNA test because I thought that I would uncover something really interesting about myself and my family, but I'm Korean. <laughs> I am Korean, period. I am Korean. <laughs> Rar Tortle, thank you for five gifted subs. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yep. I am Korean. $200. Thanks. Sick. Nice. I, okay, so technically I'm like 99.9% .9 Korean and I'm 0.1% Mongolian. Kinda nutty. You're looking like Japanese and Korean. Maybe it's because of my style. I don't know. I really like Japanese culture and style. Maybe that's why. Do you think you're actually secretly adopted or something? I don't know. Like, like my mom's side of the family looks very like westernized. Like my mom's side of the family has like a lot of American features or like not American features, American is not a culture, has a lot of white people features. I don't, sorry, I am so uncultured. But like my mom's side of the family has like taller noses. They have like strong jaw lines, like stuff like that. So I'm like, maybe I'm not full Korean. Maybe something happened up there, but nothing happened, so. Nope. Do you get the one where, where they'll tell you about potential health conditions? Yes. So the reason why my DNA test was $100 was because I also asked for the 
like I also got the option where it shows you all your potential health issues. So it screens for like um, your susceptibility towards like cancer to like like autism, uh, no, like Down syndrome or like this is a test for so many different like health. Let me just pull it up. What was the app I used? Oh, 23andMe. Okay. <laughs> Gosh. So. Where is my health? Health highlights. Oh my god, I feel like such a boomer when I try to navigate these new apps. Okay, here it is. Okay, so it shows you your health predisposition. So it basically like genetic health risks. So one is late onset Alzheimer's. Julian, thanks for the 15 gifted subs! Thank you! Oh my god! Thank you so much! <laughs> Thanks, Julian. Fog. <laughs> um, you guys are spoiling me. I can't. <laughs> I can't. You guys are spoiling me. So yeah, the, like, the first one is late onset Alzheimer's, which was kind of like... It was kind of scary opening up my genetic report because I'm like, I might literally find out I have late onset Alzheimer's. Like, <laughs> anyway, I was kind of freaking out. But luckily, it said variant not detected, so I don't have that. Parkinson's disease, I don't have that. Cel celiac disease, uh, it says variant not detected. Kidney disease, not detected. Um, type 2 diabetes, it says I'm like, I have average likelihood of type 2 diabetes, which means I should probably take care of my like um, sugar and like start, um, what's it called, like, like con uh, food consumption, right? So if anything, I might get type 2 diabetes. Um, and then it also gives you like your carrier status. Um, so it's like things that might not affect you, but might affect your kids if you have kids. And it gives you like 45 different ones of those. So for example, cystic fibrosis. It says not detected. Like, let me just show you. It has like a whole list of things. So. Honestly, when I was looking through all this, right? I kind of felt like, you know, <laughs> you know how like, kitten and like dog breeders like test their their like dogs genes for like good health so it's like they breed healthy kids i kind of felt like i kind of felt like that and i'm like oh my god is god just like a breeder and i am just a human that he's breeding <laughs> okay that was like a high thought but i wouldn't know what it is be high because I don't do that stuff. Um, thanks for 31 months, G15. Welcome back. Gain, thanks for the tier 3, 32 months. Thanks. And then what's interesting is that it also showed all these other like fun facts about yourself. Like this is wellness. It says I'm likely lactose intolerant, which is true. I am lactose intolerant. Muscle composition, it says um, my muscle composition basically is not like an elite athlete. And then alcohol flush, it says unlikely to flush. Like, I don't, I don't get red when I drink. And I'm like, how does it know? Yeah. Wait.
wait, this whole time I thought I, I was a bad singer. But it says that I am most likely able to match a musical pitch. Should I take singing lessons? <laughs> Whoa, that's so cool. See, more likely to be able to match a musical pitch. Oh my god, it even gives me a wake up time. Likely to wake up around 8.57 a.m. What the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> How does it know that? That's so specific. Wow. I think I should learn to sing. I think I'll take singing lessons. Maybe, maybe there's something. Do you take the health and ancestry one or the ancestry and traits one? I think I take the health and ancestry. Honestly, maybe I will. Maybe I will take singing lessons. Okay, you know, okay, so don't tell anyone this, but I always wanted to hire a singing instructor to teach me how to sing happy birthday on tune because that is probably one of my biggest insecurities. Like when I have to sing happy birthday and I'm not in tune and like no one's in tune, like no one sings in tune. But it still bothers me. <laughs> so I'm like, maybe I'll be the one to sing in tune so people can like tune to me. But I'm not too sure. Like, I just feel so insecure singing happy birthday because it's never in tune. And then it's like I hear my voice so loudly out of tune. And I'm like, who thought of the freaking song Happy Birthday? It is so hard to sing. I like Happy Birthday is probably one of the hardest popular songs to sing. Like <laughs> it's so hard. Kimmy, how is meeting LM Koji's major and the EU guys? Dude, they're all they're all very cool guys. They're all actually so cool. Like I was I mean, okay, this makes it seem like I thought they weren't cool. But I you know, I thought they were cool and they are cool. Hold on. Julia texted me. Sure. Um, meaning that you guys, okay, let's, let's, let's go through them all. Um, I already talked about Josh. Josh was just tall. Okay. I feel so bad just saying, he is so tall though. He is so tall. Um, Koji is an absolute sweetheart. He is just the exact same as on his stream. Scott is also an absolute sweetie. He, Scott is just a cutie patootie. He is so cute. They're all so sweet. <laughs> Unfortunately, I only got to hang out with them for like 10 minutes because we were at a potluck and we only got to say like a few sentences to each other because there are so many people there. Um, yeah, there's just so many people. We probably only talked for like half an hour, max. I know, I wish we could hang out more. I'm so sad. Also, I got really sick the week they came down. 
So I was supposed to hang out with them. I was supposed to hang out with like Steve and um, Apollo and the EU boys. Um, we arranged like hangouts. I was supposed to hang out with like when they went shopping with Janet. But I got so stupidly sick that week. And I like, I never got sick since COVID happened. So I got so sick and I could not hang out with them. And I was so sad. But next time they're down or next time I'm in EU, we can definitely hang out. Yeah. What am I drinking? Strawberry banana smoothie from McDonald's. But it's all gone now. <laughs> Sad. Your hair is pretty, thank you. <laughs> I wanted to look kind of cute today because I'm coming back to stream. Actually, I was really excited to stream today. It's been so long since I last streamed and the break was really good and I was actually really excited to come back to stream and I'm actually really excited to keep streaming like I feel like when I streamed before it was kind of more of it kind of turned into a, a ritual or like a it like kind of turned into like a habit more than something I was like excited to do you know um and now it feels like something I just feel kind of excited to do. I kind of just feel excited to stream. Um, so that's a really good feeling for sure. That's a good feeling. And honestly, like really happy to see you guys here. I, I don't think I can say it enough. Like I was really antsy coming back to stream because I just didn't know, like, I just didn't know how it would be or if anyone would be here. And I guess I'm a little hard on myself. Like, I'm like, there are so many streamers out there. Why would people want to come back or keep supporting me if I just take months off? Like, why? You know, there are so many amazing streamers. So I guess I'm just, yeah, I, I guess I'm still like kind of like in shock right now because I, I'm just really grateful that you guys are here <laughs> and I don't know like I guess I kind of feel like I don't know I, I feel kind of bad even saying that for some reason um <laughs> and uh, I'm just grateful I guess I, I really am um yeah when I was recovering from my surgery like mentally I was in such a bad place like I was in such a dark place that I knew I needed a lot of time off like I knew I needed like a long time off because I was so like I was in a really bad place right and when you're going through that you just don't know what's gonna happen you just don't know you know so a few months ago, I genuinely considered like not coming back to stream <laughs> because I knew I needed a lot of time off, but I just didn't know if my stream would be there when I came back. So I genuinely was looking into other options, like going back to school, um, stuff like that. So <laughs> I've just, I've just, I just feel really grateful right now. So <laughs> thank you so much, I guess. Um, I don't think I'll ever need to take months off again because I just feel like I was able to learn how to balance myself and my time better and my energy. So I just don't feel like I'll ever push myself to the point of needing months off again. So. Yeah, like before, I don't know if you guys followed my streams before, right? But I would do like 24 hour streams. I would do like subathons pretty regularly, <laughs> right? Um, I feel like the Kimmy now would just not do that because I feel like, I feel like I'm a pretty low energy person and 
I feel like my tank is like actually pretty low <laughs> and um, I just I just I just would have to push myself really hard to do that many 24 hour streams and I don't know how I did it before I went straight off of like adrenaline I think I know I did a 30 hour stream before oh my lord Jesus you're kind of introverted that's one thing I really came to know about myself is that like I think I push myself to be extroverted because that's kind of like what society wanted from me. <laughs> but then once existentialism hit and I said, fuck you society, I'm doing what I want. I realized that I am happily introverted. I'm happily introverted. I am a happy introverted gimme. Yeah. I'm like, I don't care. I don't fucking care if everyone wants me to be a people person and be super extroverted and go meet endless people. I don't fucking care. I'm not leaving my room, goddammit, unless I want to. <laughs> That's me now. That's me. I'm like, how can I make my apartment so attractive for me to live in that I never want to leave? Get a kitty. Like, I'm literally never going to leave when I get my cat. Mystical Fire, thank you for 16 months. Welcome back. All right, where are my introverts in chat? Honestly, I love extroverts. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love extroverts. But I just don't agree with pushing yourself to be someone you're not. Because that's just so stressful. <laughs> it's so stressful. Okay. As an introvert... I feel like we can say how much we all appreciate natural extroverts. Like, like I appreciate natural extroverts so much. I am just not one of them. But, oh my god, natural extroverts are like my senpais. <laughs> like, holy shit, you guys are OP, man. Holy crap. Like, every single time I see Pokey, I'm like, oh my freaking lord, she is just so extroverted. Pop off, queen. Facts, I love being adopted by extroverts. Exactly. <laughs> I love when extroverts adopt me. I think that's another thing. Like, when I streamed before, I was always, like, really hard on myself for not reaching out to other people a lot, and, like, collabing with people a lot. And I was really hard on myself for, like, shutting down in, like, social situations on stream. And... I was always just really hard on myself about it. And I'm like, why can't I just be like those other streamers that like always have fun and like collab and do shit with other people? Why, why can't that be me? But then I realized that's just not me. <laughs> I'm just like a little quiet. I'm a little reserved. I'm a little shy. That's just me. I am a little bit more ambivert actually, but I'd still say I lean introvert, but I am, I am ambivert. Yeah, where are my where are my shy boys and shy girls in chat and shy non binaries in chat? Can I get a people shy for all my shy boys, girls, and everyone inclusive? It looks like you have a unibrow. That's not funny. That's not funny. And now I can't unsee it. Oh God, what have you done? I'm so mad. <laughs> you ruined my look. How dare you say it looks like I have a unibrow. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, not like this. I need to cut this. I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. I'm gonna go with, I'm, I think I'm gonna make my hair gray because I want it to match my kitty. <laughs> I want to match my cat. I'm gonna have gray hair.
Thanks for 46 months. Welcome back. I've never had gray hair before. I do like this warmer color though. I like this warm color is, is comfy. It's cozy. Oh. 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 Good enough. It's good enough. I know. It'll be so cute when I get my snowball. For all the new people in chat, I'm getting a kitty in six days and her name's gonna be Snowball. And this is what she looks like. Why people happy? Look at her, look at her little paws. Look at her tiny little paws. <gasps> Say hello, cat. Hello, cat. So Snowball is coming in six days. No. <laughs> no, I am not getting her from Arya. Actually, um, gosh. So I can get pretty obsessive when it comes to things I randomly get passionate about. So once I decided I was getting a kitten, I think this happened two months ago. Once I finally decided that I'm getting a kitten, um, I spent the past, I spent the next month straight researching kittens and everything there is to know about cats, cat breeds, temperaments, personalities, like different genders, different needs, lifestyle, um, dogs that get along with them, how to introduce them to dogs, like different foods. And then I also started researching different um, breeders, shelters, um, adoption, like cat cafes in LA. Um, and I made a deposit on breeders, like, oh my God, I went crazy for like a month straight. And then I found my breeder finally at the end of the month, after like literally hundreds of hours of research into cats, I found my breeder had great reviews. Um, all of her cats are like genetically tested for like to make sure they're healthy, uh, super reputable, um, super ethical. That's another thing really didn't want to get an uh, support an unethical breeder so i did a lot of research to make sure i found one that like raised her kittens very well as well and i finally found my breeder and um uh she sent me she sent me a picture of snowball and snowball wasn't on her website or anything i just messaged her and i was like hey do you have any like white kittens that are going to be available and she's like or, that are girls and she's like, I have one. And she sends me Snowball. And I'm like, <laughs> and I just fucking made the deposit instantly. <laughs> like, it was love at first sight. And then I showed Celine the breeder. <laughs> and then Celine, literally within five hours of me showing her the breeder, she put a deposit down on a kitten. And that kitten is Opal. Holy moly. <laughs> and Opal is a freaking sweetheart. And then I showed my other friend Tanner, uh, DeMonte, and literally within, like, I think, it, I think his was even faster. I think within 10 minutes of talking to him, he put a deposit down on a kitten as well. Let me show you his. Like literally, like he was, I, we were just having a conversation and he was just like, yeah, dude, like, I think I want to, like, I really want a cat, but like, I just like haven't been looking around to like find a breeder and stuff. And I'm like, Hey, look at this breeder. And he's like, Oh my God, those are so like every single cat is so cute. And then I messaged my breeder and I'm like, do you have any kittens available? And she sends me like two pictures and he's like, I'll take that one. Look! <laughs> Look at the stupid cat! Look! It's so freaking cute! <laughs> so, oh my god, look at this one! Oh my god, look! Look at his stomach! His belly! This is so cute! <laughs> 
and she, he's naming him Todd. Oh my god, look at this picture. <laughs> so he's so round and cute. He's so cute. <gasps> oh, they're British short hairs. I knew I wanted a British short hair just because their temperaments are so good. They have they're like really sweet personalities. So I knew I was looking for a British short hair. Oh my god, and then my cousin messaged me and she wants a cat so now <laughs> oh my gosh so now i sent her my dude i need a freaking referral code like are you kidding me are you kidding me i need a referral code at this point anyway so my breeder sent me this picture of all these available kitties so these kitties are available dude Look at how, oh my god. Look, look at, look at this one. Look at how cute this one is. <laughs> oh my gosh, this chocolate one is so cute. Oh my god, this one. This, this oh, frick. Wait, I have another picture. Do I? No, I don't. Yes, I do. Eh, it's like not a better picture, but yeah look at how cute he is he's like chocolate kitten so i'm really trying to convince her to adopt that kitten <laughs> he's just so cute oh my god let me show you this, show you this picture With all of his sisters and brothers. Look at how cute he is. He's just like vibing. He's literally just vibing. He's so cute. So yeah. If I get another cat, it's gonna be a dark cat. But I'm biased and I still think Snowball is literally just freaking it. Like look at her. Like look at her. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited. I'm never going to leave my room. Like, I wasn't going to leave my room anyway, but now I'm really not going to. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Sorry. <clears throat> Which means all of you guys are going to have a lot of Kimmy and Snowball content. And Pix. I didn't forget about you, Pixie. Hmm. Hmm. He's so cute. Pix is very cat-like, actually. Pix is four? Are you four now? Yeah, he's four. He's already four. But yeah. Oof. We're gonna have a lot of snow Kimmy and Snowball content soon. A lot, a lot, a lot. Pix reminds me of Snoop Dogg, and I don't know why. <laughs> I've heard that a lot. Is Pix ready for Snowball? Dude, I don't know. I, I don't know. We're going to have to find out. I'm so happy Kimmy's back. Aw, oh, thank you. I'm not going to say I'm going to stream full time, but I definitely want to take things slow. I want to take things like one day at a time. When I think about like planning content and streaming full time, I I get like a really I get really stressed out. So, I think I'm just going to take it slow. Stream like a few times a week at least. And I want to talk to you guys a lot. I don't want to just jump back into playing games. I really want to talk to you guys. Do you have any income at the moment outside your stream? Nope, I have been. <laughs> I have been draining my savings this past five months. <laughs> it's okay. It's it it is. Oh, it is a okay. <laughs> it is. It's okay. It is fine. This is fine. 
<laughs> this is fine. I did take some sponsorships, but yeah, I've been basically eating into my savings, but I think it was worth it. I know that's what savings are for, you know? I just wish I was like more motivated by money. I feel like people who are motivated by money, like it's like there's so much you can do in like in like streaming and stuff if you're motivated by money. I feel like I'm just I know I could take Raid Shadow Legends sponsorships every week. Like they pay way too much. <laughs> Um, wait, <laughs> Tomu, <laughs> Tomu hooks me up with hella OP stream element sponsorships. Yeah, I, Raid Channel Legends, you know, probably, probably not my top priority game I would want to sponsor, be sponsored by all the time, but, but yeah, um, you know, Homegirl has been, um, eaten into her savings these past five months and I feel like at any point I could have just come back and streamed and taken sponsors and etc etc but I really wanted to come back to stream and content with the intention of being excited and creative and engaging so that's why I waited as long as I did to come back to stream because I really wanted to come back with like the right mindset. So I feel like I'm there right now. I feel like I'm at the mindset where I'm just excited and I just want to be creative and have fun and talk to you guys and share things with you guys. So I realized that what makes me happiest is when I'm just creative and engaging with people. That makes me happiest and and pets <laughs> creative and engaging with people and pets that makes me happy john thanks for 32 months welcome back thank you what cryptocurrencies are you high on bro i invested a lot into shiba and then it just fucking tanked overnight like <laughs> i think i bought shiba at like 0.5 and now it's at like fucking let me check <laughs> and now shiba is at it's loading one second it's loading <laughs> now it's at 0.3 I'm so sad I lost all my money <laughs> it's okay I'm just gonna keep it in and forget about it and then I have some in ethereum but I mean I'm pretty much just even on that I have some in sony sony went down a little bit but I'm pretty much even in everything else. Yeah, crypto is not doing very well right now. <laughs> what copium? Fuck you guys. When I say it's fine, I'll just put my money in and not look at it for a year. You know, it's okay. It's okay that stocks are down right now because because I'll just keep it in. That's not copium. Am I in denial? I think I might be in denial. I think that is. I think I think that is copium. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> okay, once Robinhood adds Shiba to Robinhood, I'll make all my money back, bitch. I'll be rich. I'll be rich rich. Okay? I'm gonna be a rich, rich, bad bitch. <laughs> right? Is that how it's supposed to work? <laughs> That's a copious amount of copium. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> You'll all be the last ones laughing. <laughs> Come back to me in a, in a year.
<laughs> yeah, do not take. Okay, so how I see like crypto is only invest as much money as you're willing to lose in crypto because crypto is like such a gamble, right? Don't put your life savings in crypto. <laughs> just put just put like what you're willing to like realistically lose you know a couple hundred dollars or you know whatever whatevs oh another thing that i've been working on is i guess i can say it yeah i i can say it because i'm not gonna say any specifics but I've been working on creating okay now it seems like it's like such a big thing but I don't think it's a big thing it's like a passion project of mine it's just like a little passion passion project but I've been working on creating my own company um, I can like release more details once I'm further along but I think I've always had like the itch to want to be like an entrepreneur or like kind of like dip my toes in what it would feel like to be a CEO. And I also have like an idea in mind and it's like not anything big or anything. I don't want to say what it is, but I have been working on that. Um, so yeah, I think, I think really like forming this passion project of mine and taking time to form it was really important to me. And that's also what I let myself do in the past like five months, I wasn't streaming very much. So, so yeah, um, it's not gonna be anything like big, but um, <laughs> well, I don't think it's gonna be anything big, but it's always been something deep inside that I knew I wanted to do, like start my own company. So I've been talking to some people and I've been like, yeah, designing things and stuff. Um, <laughs> I'm also not ruthless at all. So I'm not planning on like being like, I'm not planning on like being like some crazy, like, I don't know, you know, you know, you know, I'm not ruthless <laughs> at all. Yet. <laughs> yeah, yet. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck them kids, exactly. Fuck them. Fuck them in there. Anyway, so. Um, I think I would definitely have to work with people who are more business minded than I am because I am like a submissive bitch. <laughs> yeah, so I don't think that would work out very well. Bye, Shara. Thanks for the events. Welcome back. Should also work on wording. Okay, that's like another thing. I feel like I suck at wording because maybe it's my ADHD. Maybe it's because I'm socially awkward. Maybe it's because I'm like kind of introverted, but I suck at wording and I don't have a filter. What comes out of my mouth can be a freaking train wreck. <laughs> and I've said things on stream before that made me literally burn bridges with people and lose friends and like <laughs> create drama because of how I word things. Like, I suck at wording so fucking hard. I will be the first to admit that. Tenor, thanks for the 100 bits. Thank you. And Red, welcome back. Yeah, it's pretty sad. <laughs> I start drama unintentionally. I, I think I'm getting better, though. I'm getting better, I think. Yeah, being a competent communicator is hard. Unfortunately for me, there's like a camera on me with dozens of people watching me <laughs> with the ability to clip things I say. <laughs> uh.
Oh, honestly, I wasn't a regular viewer or a sub or anything before you stopped streaming. But I was actually really happy seeing your back. Thanks. Thank you. Exhausted Owl, thanks for 52 months in a row. Welcome back. Ooh, one game I do want to stream eventually. I do want to stream TFT. Would you guys watch me play TFT? I feel like it's such a boring game to watch if you guys, if people don't know how to play TFT. But I told this in the beginning of my stream, but I've been playing a lot of TFT in my months off and I soloed to Diamond. I posted it on my Twitter like a few days ago or like a week ago. But if you guys don't follow my Twitter or Instagram, I'm a Diamond TFT player. <laughs> I can be obnoxious and I can put Diamond in my title. <laughs> G fitting you, thanks for so, thanks for giving me a sub to a user. We s have seen on Discord that you're always in TFT. <laughs> really? Fuck. Does it say? I thought on Discord it just said I was playing like League of Legends. Does it really say I'm playing TFT all the time? TFT boring game. Do you forget TFT ASMR game from last year? Oh yeah, I used to do TFT ASMR. That was that was quite the niche. Thanks for 100 bits. Oh my gosh, Cotton 4K. Isn't Cotton 4K like a porn reference? <laughs> it's not? Well, I'm super innocent and I wouldn't know what porn is anyway, so never mind. Forget I said that. Are you judging me, Pix? Are you judging me? Clue, thanks for the five gifted. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> oh yeah, another thing, another thing I said in the beginning of my stream was that I got really sick a few weeks ago and I still have a cough from being sick, but I'm not sick currently. So I promise you I'm not sick. But when I like use my voice a lot, I'll start coughing a bit. Are you planning on doing more ASMR videos? Yeah! Actually, okay, I said this again in the beginning of my stream, but I'll say it again. Um, I am applying for an apartment that I'm moving to in less than three months. So in about like two and a half-ish, like start of March, um, I'm moving into a new apartment with Julia and Pix and Japonia and Snowball. And I made sure it's super quiet so I can make ASMR videos again. But then I feel like a lot of anxiety when it comes to like making ASMR videos again. Cause I'm like, there's so many amazing ASMR artists out there. Why would anyone watch mine? <laughs> I'm really hard on myself. I, I think that's what I realized about myself. I'm like kind of hard on myself. <laughs> Have you seen the views on your videos? Not in a while. Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Why do so many of you guys watch these videos? <gasps> One of them's at 1.4 million from last year. Oh my god, what the frick? <laughs> Holy crap. Wait, what? Hold on. Holy moly. Dude, ASMR is like the biggest like five head profiting machine because it's like I'm not I just upload it and people rewatch it and I'm still making money, man. <laughs> uh, 
yeah, this is how I've been surviving these past five months of not streaming. <laughs> wow. Wait, literally, I made these videos every week, just like sitting at my parents' house, looking at my OBS. These were s like pretty low effort to make and they all did so well. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, I mean, I love ASMR too. I love making ASMR videos. Well, I mean... Well... Well, wait, this, wait, I look cute. Wait, what? Wait, I'm cute as fuck. <laughs> Where'd she go? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I probably sound really annoying right now. <clears throat> yeah, Nubby actually, I literally just filmed these videos and then Nubby, my amazing moderator, he edited them and I paid him. Hey Nubby, you ready to work again? I'm always down if you want to get on the grind. Okay, you know, okay, so actually a big reason why I also haven't been making content and videos is because like my chin literally like, it's just feeling better now. I'd say like, I'd say no part of it is like 100% numb anymore, but I'd still say like this whole area, all of here has quite a substantial bit of numbness my bottom lip too like right here so it's still pretty numb but feels good thanks for the three dollars i honestly like it a lot when you're saying nice things about yourself it's literally an asmr category for low quality recording we don't need movie quality ASMR for it to be good, just have fun with its smile. Aww. Okay. Alright, Nubby. Let's make some more videos. Let's make some more ASMR videos, Nubby, okay? I'm gonna try to film ASMR in this setup. I just have to find a like, block of time where it's like nice and quiet. Probably like at night. Thanks so much for subbing, welcome. I should be complimenting myself. I always feel awkward complimenting myself. But like, I think, I think it's great when people can compliment themselves, <clears throat> especially if it comes from like a good place. But I also, f I, I just feel so strange. That's something I need to get, uh, that's something I want to get better at. I want to get better at compliment. You know what? I'm hella cute. I'm fucking cute, bitch. Like, I put effort into looking cute. I better be cute. <laughs> I'm cute. Right? I feel bad. <laughs> Hey, thanks for seven months. Welcome back. You know what? Yeah, you know what? Let, let's compliment ourselves more. Okay, everyone in chat. All right, everyone in chat, say something. Say something good about yourself. Okay, you guys can teach me. You guys can teach me how. You know, you have to. If if you want me to compliment myself more, then y'all have to compliment yourselves more too. It can't be a one way thing. You you got you got it you gotta do you gotta do it too, you know. <laughs> chat is suddenly very quiet. <laughs> okay, chat. Type in chat I've got a big dick <laughs> and I'm proud of it. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Sorry, don't say that. don't say that. 
Is your you're gonna get banned? <laughs> uh. <laughs> you know, size doesn't matter. Let me tell you this: size does not matter. Not like I would know, because like I'm going to die a virgin. Like, I'll have babies, but I will be a virgin. I will be like Virgin Mary. So, I wouldn't know. <laughs> Farming copiums. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> I need a new tank. What other Twitch emotes are popular that came up in the past five months? Okay. <laughs> okay, not bat chest. Oh, okay. -ish. I watch K3 Soju way too much. I watch... <laughs> I watch way too much K3 Soju and he always says okay -ish. how do you even pronounce that sush 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 oh being chillin and <laughs> it's eighth <laughs> it's eighth Suske. Oh, Sus Sus Suska. Suska? Suska? What is Suska? Oh, yeah. We are being chillin'. It's lit. It's lit. <laughs> uh, I watch way too much Keith Soju. He is my TFT senpai. It's a first. Ah. <laughs> uh, Wow, a lot of you guys watch K3 Soju. Wow. I have no idea how he can keep up that energy for so long. I genuinely think the boy just loves playing TFT. Like, <laughs> I think it's as simple as that. He's just so happy. He's playing TFT, his favorite game. He's profiting. He has 20,000 viewers at all times. Like, he is just a happy boy right now. You know, living with his dad who brings him food. Like, you know. He says, sorry for short streams of 17 hours. Relatable. <laughs> oh my lord. Didn't he have a clip where he died to dragon creep brown? Yeah, he died to dragon. <laughs> it's so funny. I don't think he's toxic at all. I think he's like... He's just troll. Kimmy, how's your new cat? He is, my new cat's not here yet. She comes in six days. <coughs> K3 Soji plus Plushies collab. Oh, he follows me on Twitter. I fangirled so hard. <laughs> like, wait, let me see. <gasps> he does, okay. <laughs> Are you and Leslie still friends? Of course. I'd say our lives kind of grew apart though, but I'd say we're still friends, just not like as close as we used to be. Like we used to like live with each other close. Yeah, Sag. But it's okay, because I feel like that's what adulting is all about, you know? You kind of just focus on your life. You still love the people in your life, but shit changes, you know? But it's okay. It's okay, because our paths might cross again in the future, but that's his life. You cannot be attached. You cannot hold on to memories of the past, or else it will prevent you from moving forward. Wow, <laughs> that was deep. <laughs> Why 
Voltage, 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 Voltage. But yeah, any other questions? Yeah, I, I've, I've gone down a philosophical journey these past two years. <clears throat> Actually, one mindset that I've adopted, I've been really looking into Taoism. I wish I was more... I wish I knew more about it because I feel like I'm going to explain it very poorly. But there's this mindset of not forcing, not forcing life to happen. And instead, just being like water, <laughs> being like water and allowing yourself to flow through life like naturally you know don't try to resist life don't try to force yourself in a direction that isn't for you just you know just flow through life like water and that mindset personally has worked really well for me in my life everyone's different and it won't work for everyone but that mindset at least worked for me really really well in the past like couple of years for sure when it comes when it came down to like finding my own happiness and finding myself and my place in life um i still i think i'm still figuring it out but when i view life as if i'm water flowing through life and life's obstacles life is just so much easier so when now when i come in contact with an obstacle in life i would before i would try so hard to solve it i would try so hard to like overcome it to like you know i was so obsessive to try to conquer the obstacle but now if there's an obstacle i'll just go a different direction <laughs> i'll just be like whoop <laughs> not today obstacle <laughs> sidestep you know and then instead of like being stuck trying my hardest to try to like throw all of my energy into solving this obstacle i just fucking sidestep it and keep going forward <laughs> if that makes sense <coughs> alexia hello hi i love you But yeah, I think philosophy, I, I wouldn't say I am like super religious about it or any philosophy, um, but I do like incorporating some philosophical teachings into my way of life, how I go through life. That makes more sense to me. Bruh, just do some mushrooms to speed run philosophy. <gasps> Mushrooms are illegal substances. <laughs> I would never. Those are bad. Anyone got mushrooms? Just wondering. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I would never. It is very unbrand friendly to talk about this as well. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not against it. Just make sure to do it responsibly if you do do it i think being super against something as a parent or as like any kind of any kind of like teacher or anything i think being super against something it's just really harmful ultimately because if if kids if people want to do something they're gonna fucking do it so isn't it better to teach safe ways to go about doing these things instead of just condemning them right like 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 alcohol um or like 
sex, Bef you know? I feel like, if anything, instead of condemning all these things, I feel like it'd just be better to be open about it as like, I don't know, a little bit more open about it. I didn't have that growing up. My parents and like my friends were all extremely conservative. I never had a sex talk. Never had a sex talk, drug talk, alcohol talk. I mean, I just happened to also be conservative, so I just didn't want to do that stuff anyway. <laughs> but still, <laughs> what if I did want to do it? <laughs> Mantras, thanks for 39 months. Welcome back. Yeah, I just play Maple Story, man. Like my parents were so lucky. I just got, I just play Maple Story. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I just stayed home and played Maple Story all the time. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Maple Satori. Love that game. You know how people say, like, I peaked in high school? Well, like, I peaked in Maple Story. <laughs> I feel like I peaked in Maple Story. Holy crap, I was, I was, I was killing it in that game. Thanks, B2. <laughs> I played a lot of Maple Story. Love that game. It's a good game, quality game. Well, now, I still like playing now, actually. I think I'm going to play during the winter. I mean, it is the winter. I think I'm going to play. <laughs> Eric, thanks for three months. Welcome back. Can we make it to our 500 sub goal today? Wait, 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 no, no, I literally just said to not sub to me. Okay, we'll make it tomorrow <laughs> or the next time I stream. Nah, fuck it. All right, can we make it to our 500 sub goal this stream? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> the first day back. And look at me. I am already sell out. I'm so disappointed in myself. Fuck. <laughs> Old habits die hard. I'm sorry. <laughs> you guys are rewarding me too. Like, I can't stop. <laughs> Long are these for the five kids it does. <laughs> Eric, thanks for the vibe. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Del Sol, thanks for 34. Welcome back. No worries, you gotta sell out after spending your life savings. <laughs> Homegirl's kind of poor, but that's my fault. That's not your guys's. That's not your guys's fault. <laughs> Tiramisu, thank you so much for the five. Oh, Randy for the five gifts. Thank you. 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 Twelfold. Thanks for the eight months. Thank you. Oh, you guys. Oh my gosh. Thanks for the two. Some some things never change. <gasps> Green! Thank you for the 15! Thank you so much! Thank you! That's so sweet. Thank you so much. <gasps> Dumbledore! Thanks for the 10! Oh! <laughs> Thank you! I also want to redo all my sub emotes. Though. So, once I get Snowball, I just want to make cat emotes. <laughs> I just want to make a bunch of cat emotes. And yeah, animated emotes too. Jerry, thanks for 12 months. Yeah, ASMR is coming back someday. Someday soon, actually. I think I'm gonna try making an ASMR video like from from this setup, right? I mean, like this is like it looks kind of, it looks pretty, right? Like usually I like setting up my background for ASMR videos, but this is good enough, right? The vibes are kind of cozy. Pretty nice. It's good enough. Yeah. Oh yeah, if I move my mic. Oh yeah, I won't be using this mic for my ASMR video, so this will be like, be like this. I'm glad you like the lighting. <clears throat> Brick, thanks for 25. Welcome back. 
Dude, I just really love comfy aesthetic. I love cozy. I love cozy aesthetic. I love cozy clothing. I love cozy, cozy lighting. I think I was a cat in my past life, you guys. I feel like I'm just a cat. I just want to curl up in a warm bed all day and just play TFT on my phone. Like, I'm, I'm just a cat. <laughs> Dizzy, thanks for the five gifted. Thank you. Um, hi, can I ask you a question? Why don't you upload on YouTube anymore? Um, on well, I haven't been making content in general anymore. This is kind of my first day back. Um, I'm for sure going to be vlogging my cat adoption video because it's like my ritual. I do that every time I like adopt an, an animal. <laughs> I I make an entire adoption video or a, a, a vlog so definitely gonna do that and maybe that will incentivize me to make more videos panda thanks for the 10 gifted subs thank you <gasps> we hit 500 ah! <laughs> thank you thank you seriously oh my gosh you guys jeshi thank you for 48 months good lord And Dizzy, did I already say thanks for the five? Thank you so much. Aw, thanks guys. Damn. <laughs> Y'all love me. <laughs> wow. I can't help that I'm so lovable. Okay, yeah, you've definitely changed. Well, I will say, I have accepted the fact that I've been really freaking lonely these past years as a streamer because I just don't let myself meet people and open myself up to relationships. So in the past like five months, I opened myself up to relationships finally. <sighs> so I downloaded dating apps and I matched with somebody. And he was really cool. He was a doctor and he kind of reminded me of my dad actually, you know, like he's Korean, my dad's a doctor. I'm like, oh, we're probably gonna have so much to talk about, you know? We get along really well. Conversations are good, mentally stimulating. He's very smart. Um, I also am interested in healthcare. So it's like, we're vibing, everything's good, whatever. Um, on his profile, he said he was 36, and I'm like, okay, kind of kind of old. Um, usually I'm like within five years, you know, but I'm like, okay, 36, still down. Uh, so we're talking, we're th talking. Um, okay, 36 is not old, but you know what I mean? Like, I usually just like within five years, personally. <laughs> Everyone's different though. But anyway, so then we're talking, a few days pass, and he asked me, like, so what do you do? Like, where do you live around? Thankfully, I didn't give him any specifics about myself. I didn't tell him, like, specifically what I do. I didn't tell him specifically where I live. I gave him, like, general things. And then he hits me with a... He fucking... He hits me with a... He hits me with the, by the way, I'm actually 44 years old. I just wanted to make sure that was okay with you though. I don't, I don't know why my profile says I'm 36. It's like glitched. I'm like, aren't you a doctor? And you were trying to tell me <laughs> that your profile's glitched on this dating app i think it was bumble or something i'm like bitch no and i was like what like what 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 and like i just feel like it doesn't matter that he's 44 
It doesn't matter. What matters is that he lied about his age. Like, where's the integrity? How are you going to start a relationship off of a fucking lie, bitch? Like, hello? <laughs> anyway, so I was very disappointed in him and I told him off and I was like, I think you have no integrity and this is a, this is not okay and I reported him and deleted the app and I got really jaded and really sad yeah so that was my adventure <laughs> so it's like it doesn't matter how old you are it just like nothing it doesn't like nothing like right what matters is that you don't lie <laughs> You will, it's like, if you're just honest about yourself, you will find somebody eventually. Oh. Wait, I missed that. One second. Where are my donations? Oh, thanks for the three dollars, true Baffier. <coughs> if he's a doctor, <coughs> then so is Johnny Sins. Who is Johnny Sins? Johnny Sins who? Who is Johnny Sins? Who? Who? Johnny Sins? Wait, why are y'all laughing? Is he like a porn actor? I don't freaking trust you guys for a second. I don't trust y'all for a fucking second. Alright, well now I want to see him. Okay, it didn't even show him any videos. I mean, pictures. It literally, if you Google him, it literally just shows his head, shows his headshot and says American pornographic actor. I am not clicking on Google images. I am not that interested. Yako, thanks for 42 months. Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, he's a doctor too. Why is, I mean, he, he made quite the, he made quite the switch. From doctor to porn. <laughs> he made quite the switch. But you know, happy for him as long as he's happy. Oh, oh, I see. <laughs> I see. He, he's a man of many professions. I see. <laughs> I see. <laughs> he is. A very talented man. A man of many talents. Applaud. <coughs> Thanks for 13 months. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> Jack of all trades. Fuck. I don't think I'm sheltered for not knowing who this Johnny guy is. Like, what if I just watch different stuff? Like Nickelodeon, you know? Nickelodeon. <laughs> Damn. I miss Twitch chat. Holy crap. <laughs> I miss Twitch chat. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I have been a lot happier these days. I'm not sure if I would say I'm happy, but I've been happier. 
it's like kind of crazy for me to even say that. <laughs> I just feel like I was depressed for so for so long. A Dumbledore redeemed treat for picks. <gasps> picks. Picks. Come on. Come on. Come on up. Boop. And there he goes. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. You seem so sad a few months ago, like you had a rainy cloud of sadness over your head. Now you seem happier. Do you like want what? <laughs> I don't want. I don't want this conversation to go super like sad. But I feel like when you're down bad, like when you're depressed, it's just so easy to feel like that's just how life will always be from now on. Um, it's like if you lose a job or if you go through a life change or you lose somebody important in your life, your life just feels so different on so many levels. Um, like if you lose like a family member, even if you break up with an SO or like, you know, um, your life just feels so different and especially if it's the first time you're going through these feelings if it's the first time your life has changed like so much it can feel like you'll never be happy again it's like the world just feels so empty and alone and isolating and cold like the world just feels so cold all the time. And uh, I genuinely never, I genuinely just accepted the fact that I just might never be happy again. I remember, I remember at like my, my, my darkest times, like I just accepted the fact that I might never be happy. I might just never meet friends who are like, I don't know, who got along with me. I might never meet a guy or have a family in the future I might just and you know those thoughts still cross my mind sometimes like you just never know um and when you're feeling when you're feeling that way it just feels like that's just gonna be how it is every single day for the rest of your life but then it's you just I just felt so stuck and alone. Thanks for the three dollars. Um, yeah, like I had no motivation to take she care of myself. ATM. Take it in all while it lasts. Lol. Also, have you ever played I ladies? Pause champ. He says, Have you ever played? I ladies. Nope. Never played that game. Nope, nope, nope. Um Celine said something to me. Celine told me to not focus on like doing things that like she she told me she told me to just fill my room like she said that for the first step I can take. She told me to fill my room with things that made me happy. This was before my plant phase. Um, before my plant phase, that was like my minimalism phase where I literally had a desk and like a bed. <laughs> like that's it. So I had like no decorations or anything. And Celine was like, just fill your room with things that make you happy. And back then that was so hard for me to comprehend. I'm like, I don't know what makes me happy. And then slowly I just started to find things that made me happy and I started to incorporate them in my room. I need to do a room tour. I actually really like my room right now. Um, actually, I was, I was really sad at one point. Um, 
to the point where I messaged Celine. <laughs> I feel like Celine's an angel. I just, oh my god, like I distanced myself a lot from a lot of my friends. Um, what I realized like, during COVID, because I just stayed indoors and stuff, and I didn't really play many games that they played. So I feel like I grew apart from a lot of my friends. Um, but I was so so lonely. I remember I messaged Celine. And I was just like, oh my god, Celine, can I please come over? Like, I'm so lonely. <laughs> and I haven't messaged her like that ever, ever. <laughs> and she's like, oh my god. She's like, yeah, yeah, of course, come over. Like, sh I've never messaged her like that. So then I like come over to her apartment and she instantly invites Janet and Jamie to come over. And when they heard that I was sad, they instantly came over, even though they lived like actually kind of far from Celine. Well, Janet did. So like they instantly came over and then they just like gave me a bunch of soju <laughs> and we ordered food and they just like listened to me talk like literally all night. And I was just like, holy shit, like I like uh, I didn't hang, like at that point, I didn't hang out with those three at the same time in, in like years. Holy crap. And then um, Jamie and Janet uh, headed on out. And then I stayed over at Celine's place that night. And in the morning, um, I was just like so, so grateful. I actually just started like bawling and I was just crying. And I was like, dude, like I've been so lonely. And Celine just like hugged me so hard. Yeah. <sighs> and then <laughs> I'm gonna like cry thinking about it. Holy shit. <laughs> and then um, I was like really depressed, right? So I would isolate myself because I, I felt like a burden. I felt like I didn't add like anything to like friends at all because I was just so sad that I wouldn't even talk. I wouldn't want, I would just, I didn't even take care of myself. <laughs> I didn't want to do any content. I didn't want to be seen in any content. I just felt like a burden. <laughs> so like I would also, I would, I would like always isolate myself. And then Janet told me something that like literally changed everything. And she basically was like, I no matter, she's like, no matter like how you feel, she's like, I never want you to like run from me anymore. She's like, no matter how bad you feel, how burdensome you feel, how shameful you feel, like no matter how you feel, I never want you to run from me. She's like, I'll always be here for you, no matter what. And then Janet like took me out multiple times that week because we live really close and like that <laughs> holy fuck <laughs> like they 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 oh my god <laughs> i will forever be in debt to, the, to those girls um janet lived far away from celine but me and janet live near each other <sighs> And then Jamie has always been there for me. Me and Jamie have always had like an online relationship. That's kind of how we met. So me and Jamie's always been there for me. But holy crap. <laughs> I was always really bad at being vulnerable in person. So when Celine and Janet like accepted my vulnerability in person and like doubled down on it and was like, not only are we going to accept your vulnerability, we are going to like include you in our lives and make sure you're like feeling better. Like, oh my God, I just, I just did not, I just don't deserve them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're really, they're really amazing people. Wow, I like had to hold back tears. I like almost just like, woo, okay. <sighs> um. Yeah, a lot of people don't have that. And to be honest, I didn't either until I finally was just like, you know, I really don't feel like I have anything to lose because I'm so lonely that I don't feel like I have anything to lose if I just reach out and I'm just honest and vulnerable, you know? Like, I just have nothing to lose. <laughs> yeah. I think streaming is just... Streaming is just really hard. It's hard because it's still relatively new and we're all figuring things out. And I was really bad at opening up about things I struggled with. So I kind of try to cope with things by myself, but now I'm learning to open up to things 
to people more. And I realized that a lot of streamers and people in general struggle with similar things. And I'm not alone. And people want to be there for me because I want to be there for other people too. So, you know, it makes sense that people would want to be there for me too. But for some reason, I just felt like a huge burden. Um, and yeah, like the fact that I was holding so many things in prevented me from like making friends because I would just be so stressed just holding, trying to hold everything in, right? But now I feel like now that I'm like trusting people more, I'm like opening up, I feel like, I feel like my relationships are getting a lot better. I'm meeting more people finally, I'm like opening myself up and like my relationships are like strengthening. And it's like really scary. It's really scary to like put your vulnerability on the line. Cause when you're like down bad and depressed, the last thing you fucking want is to also be rejected on top of that. So it's like, I am so in need right now, but if I open myself up and be vulnerable, then people might hurt me even more. <laughs> so it's freaking scary. But yeah, I like 100% just always recommend you reaching out. Always reach out, no matter what. Try to find somebody you trust in your life and always reach out. Reach out. Actually, like, now that we're getting kind of into this and now that I'm feeling better, I feel like it's easier for me to talk about things. So a few years ago, I was dealing with a lot of stuff. I was dealing with a lot of like harassers, stalkers, like just drama within friends and family and like a lot I was very new to streaming as well um like I was just stressed like financially like everything I was just so stressed and I had like no way of coping with all of my emotions or feelings or anything I just felt like I could not handle anything to the point where I didn't even want to reach out to a therapist back then because I was scared that my therapist would like put me in a mental institution because I was so, so, so stressed and down bad. Oh my God, I can't believe that was only a few years ago. So I didn't reach out to a therapist for like years after that. Um, I definitely don't think I wanted to end it all, but I definitely like, I definitely thought about it. So please reach out. TLDR, please reach out to people if you're struggling with something. I feel like I'm really bad discussing like sad topics, but I'm trying my best here to open up a bit, trying something new. Hopefully can help someone. Sky, thanks for subbing. Sir Eds, thanks for 12 months. Chang for 17 months. <laughs> I never knew you were going through it. Yeah, and then I would I would come on stream with like a happy face. Stream was like literally my escape. It was like my it was my escape from life. I remember Janet and Celine would say like there's always a light at the end of the tunnel, but a few years ago, <laughs> like there was no light there. It was just pitch black. It was black as hell, man. I'm like, where is the light? <laughs> and it's crazy because like now I feel like I'm like stepping into the light, <laughs> which is like crazy. Woo, it's crazy. Crazy. It's insane. Everything's gonna be okay. Are you... Still, uh, oh, am I still in therapy? I have an interview with a new therapist tomorrow. Um, I actually wanted, wanted to switch to a guy therapist because I realized that I struggle with guys sometimes. So it'd make me feel better if I had a safe space with a guy therapist. 
So I think I'm also really big on like different perspectives and it just sounded really interesting to me to have a therapist of the opposite gender. Yeah. I know some of my, <coughs> I'm sorry. I know some of my guy friends who have female therapists for that reason, which is like what inspired me to do that. Yeah, it really does help talking about personal problems with the opposite gender. Wait, I'm surprised that's so normal. You guys have like therapists of opposite gender? Huh. That's cool, I'm excited then. I feel like this conversation turned so wholesome. So are you pregnant? And it's burned. No, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> I don't know if I... <laughs> It's so random, literally so random. We had like this whole wholesome conversation and then he just comes out of nowhere. So are you pregnant? <laughs> First time chatter too. I really love your new hairstyle, thanks. I think I'm gonna switch it tomorrow. I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. I'm going for gray or like a like an like a cool toned ashy color. Because I'm adopting a cat in six days and I want to take pictures of us matching. We're gonna be so freaking cute. Thanks for the three dollars. I swear all of you all who've been down have a story about Celine pulling them up. She must be a real angel tbh. You, Ray, and Janet have said this I'm starting to think Aww. the world ain't good enough for her. Celine is literally an angel. Celine is an angel. Like it is just what she is great at. She is just so great at being an angel. Like she, like. She doesn't even hesitate or think twice about helping or, be, or being there for you if you need help. Like, she does not even think twice. She, like, will drop everything for you. Like, that week I was, I reached out to her, she was just, like, always, like, hanging out, talking, stuff like that. Same with, like, Janet, Jamie, and, like, Blazing, thanks for 38 months, thank you. She's like really inspiring for sure. I think, I think <laughs> doing what we do, it's easy to lose sight of what's important, but Celine's always very good at not losing sight of what's important to her. Will, thanks for 34 months, thank you. How much time do you spend per day staring at this picture? Dude, I spend literally sometimes I will just, <laughs> sometimes I'll literally just pull up this picture and just start smiling and just look and just smile. <laughs> like, I'll just, you'll just catch me smiling. Like, <laughs> so cute. I can't wait. <laughs> My cat has been amazing for my mental health. Having pets gives you something to help with the day-to-day -day struggle. True. Highly recommend cats, dogs, if you have time. I know, I might as well just make my wallpaper. 
But yeah. There's been a lot of amazing other people who have like been like great at like helping me when I was really down to like Hoon, Pokey. I said Jamie already. Like Annie. They've all been great. that's okay about the question about me being pregnant i think you said that you saw a clip of me saying i was pregnant i think i said that and then it got clipped to steve <laughs> but i'm not pregnant i wasn't actually pregnant I, I don't even know why i said i was do you still hike uh no it's kind of cold but i have been going on jogs these days. Jogs have been nice, like jog walks. Walk, jog runs have been really nice. Yeah, it's been pretty cold. Today was kind of hot though. Today was like, today was really hot. Oh, I just go on jogs alone in my neighborhood. Do you change your aesthetic? Yeah. So I've been really enjoying just like being creative with my clothes and like looks and hair and furniture and stuff. I've been really into aesthetics these days. It just looks pretty. Aw, thanks Crimson. I know, it's going to be so much fun to decorate the new place. I'm going to have a city view. I'm so excited. Oh, you like my tree? I got it on Amazon. It's really cute. What about moving in with friends? I have a roommate right now. Her name's Julia, and I'm going to room with her next year, too. Are you very high up in a condo? Yeah, I'm gonna be pretty high up in an apartment building, like condo apartment. I don't know if they're condos or apartments, but yeah, that's Julia. I'm excited, I've never lived in a high rise before. I never thought that was my thing. I never thought that was my vibe, but every time I would visit like Celine and Jamie, <laughs> I'd just be like, the view is so pretty. Julia does marketing for them, she's a boss. She's a baller. Yeah, I never thought I would live in a high rise, like ever. But yeah. I think I am about to head on out. Just wanna take things kinda slow. I'll be back, um, maybe <coughs> Sunday. We're gonna, basically like the vibe of these streams, we're just gonna be chatting. We're gonna be talking. Um, don't really wanna get into streaming gameplay yet. Unless I get a sponsor at Tomu. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Not kidding, but I think for now, we're just going to have like chilled talking streams. <laughs> have you picked up any hobbies? Researching everything there is to know about cats. So yeah, cats. Check bounties. I think the only bounty available is a game. You and chatting is so relaxing. Please come back more. I like talking. <laughs> Sushi, thanks for 40 months. Welcome back. I like talking. So I'm glad you like just chatting streams because I like them too. I just like chilling and talking. So come with questions and topics and stuff. I'm down to just chat about anything. <laughs> 
if anything I want to get better at like talking longer because right now I feel like my introverted meter can do about two hours before <laughs> I start needing to recharge which is like yeah I'd say that's like yeah yeah I want to get better at talking for like longer periods of time thanks for the 420 yeah I wish I could just like plug myself into a wall I wish I, I could just like sad. be recharged through like a charger through like an iPhone charger Panicking, thanks for 42 months. Thank you. Glad you're back, plushies, and taking care of yourself. Thanks, dude. Like, literally, I am so... I, I like, am so uncompromising these days. Like, for... I feel like this is so cringe. Like, I never thought I'd be that girl to, like, do self-care, self-love, all that stuff. But I am so uncompromising about my self-love and self-care now. Like, I have a freaking journal. Like, I will get facials, massages, like, I'll do my hair, my eyelashes, my nails, freaking, like, I'll shop for clothes, I'll, like, order, like, cleaners. I, like, optimize my life in every possible way now. I'm, like, I exercise regularly. I eat way better. I'm, like, way healthier now. Like, I am so uncompromising, and it feels fucking amazing. If I'm tired and people want to go out, honestly, I'll probably still go out because I still like being invited to things. So that's a bad example. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I'll make sure to still take care of myself. <laughs> Sometimes. Actually, I've been pretty bad this past week, fuck. <laughs> but I will try to get back on track. Life is hard, man. I feel like I'm so high maintenance. Like, why can't I just like exist off of food and water? I don't understand. Why am I so high maintenance? <laughs> like, I feel like I feel like I RNG'd into this life being so high maintenance. I'm like a sim character with like a list of 50 things that needs to be like green or else she'll start like BB raging. Oh yeah, sleep is very important too. I make sure to sleep and I wake up every day. I try to wake up every day by like nine-ish. But sometimes I'll sleep until like noon, but most times I try to wake up by like nine. High maintenance still since day one. Dude, apparently my parents wanted to have me for like two and a half years. Like my parents really wanted to have a second child and they wanted it to be a girl. I made them wait two and a half years because I was waiting for the genetics for the genetics genetics to just be fucking perfect for me to come out. So I made them wait two and a half years. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I did take two and a half years after my brother. <laughs> oh god. I'm so cringe. Fuck. <coughs> I'm just kidding. That I'm just um I promise I'm I need to get off. This is when the filter is off and um, my introverted battery is like depleted. So I'm just talking out my butthole right now and I'm not like filtering anything and it's just coming out. So this is when I know I have to turn off my stream or else I'm gonna like cancel myself. My, your filter was on. Well, like, you know how usually people think before they speak? Is that a thing? People do that, right? But yeah, before now, I was def definitely like thinking a bit before I spoke. No? <laughs> People don't think before they speak? I mean... Hmm. Hi, 
I guess everyone's different. I'd say, I'd say I definitely want to be the type of person who thinks before she speaks for the most part, unless, unless I'm joking around, but. but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am an overthinker. I do overthink a lot. Like, you know it's bad when your friend who vibes with you because you're both overthinkers, they tell you that you think too much. Jamie was that person for me. Jamie was my overthinking friend. And she recently told me in our last conversation that I think too much. Like, fuck me, dude. That's, that's when you know. That's when you know you're doomed. I'm like, oh god, Jamie told me to stop overthinking. Jamie! Oh no! Oh no! Oh god. Yeah, maybe Jamie's the one who was overthinking me and then she was overthinking so she told me to stop overthinking because she was the one who was overthinking. Hmm? Dude, we're both doomed. I feel like we're all overthinkers in here. Hi, Carla. Hi, Coral. Glad to see your back streaming and doing better. Hope it stays that way. I definitely hope it does too. <laughs> but who knows? Who knows? But things feel different this time, so hopefully it does. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to head on out. I'm going to post some selfies on Twitter once I end this stream, so make sure to like it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Follow my Instagram. Oh my god! Do you know? Okay, so I haven't been streaming the past five months, and my Instagram follower count started to, like, decline every time I post. I think I was at, like, 300k, and now I'm at 297. And I never cared about that. I never cared about it before. So when I notice it now, I'm like, no, what's happening? I'm, I am irrelevant. I am washed up. I am yesterday's news. Fuck. It's okay. I'll farm them back. I'll farm them back. Oh yeah, maybe some of them are just bots. Who knows? I'll just farm my followers again. Okay, well, thanks so much for coming, you guys. Like, seriously, thanks so much for coming. Yeah, I'm probably like, I'm gonna make Snowball social media stuff. Snowball needs to make me money because... Pix isn't. Just kidding, Pix, I love you, but like you're not making me any money. <laughs> Honey, I didn't mean it. Oh, Pixie, I love you. I love you, but you also need to get a job, Pix. Like, I've been housing you for free for seven for, for four years. You think I'm just gonna do it again for another ten? You're sorely mistaken. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Pix. I'm just kidding. Dude, Pix is the best. He got me through everything. He's been with me through everything. Everything. Everything.
Okay. Well, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much for coming. I'm so happy. I'm so happy to see you guys. I'm I feel really relieved, actually. I just feel really lucky. Really happy. Really grateful. Yeah. See you guys soon. <gasps> Goodbye, everybody. Good night. Goodbye. Have a nice night. Thanks for coming. <gasps> Goodbye, community. I love my community. Hi. Okay, bye everyone. Goodbye.